So the industry is going through an inflection point that you rarely see. Three years ago, there were 800 satellites operating in LEO. Now there are close to 4,000 satellites operating there. And in the next few years, it'll be close to 50,000 satellites. So the traffic's ramping up dramatically. Launches are more frequent and there's a underpinning of uh, lack of regulatory rules. It's still sort of the wild, wild west out there. So what that means is as companies are launching all these new satellites, they need infrastructure and services to ensure that their businesses are safe, their satellites are safe, and they're operating effectively and responsibly. The problem that Leo Labs is solving is tracking and knowing where everything is in space that's orbiting the Earth so that we can allow greater use of space, greater um, profits to be had in space by the various companies moving into space and greater security in space. Leo Labs is the only company that's pursuing the end-to-end -end solution. We start by generating the data by running this worldwide network of radars located in the northern and the southern hemisphere. Uh, we then run many layers of software, so digital signal processing, orbit determination, uh, conjunction alerting, and a whole set of AI ML tools, and that generates real-time information. We have built and we operate a modern space infrastructure stack that consists of phased array radars on the ground, looking up into space, tracking thousands of objects in low Earth orbit every hour. So that includes live satellites that are maneuvering, uh, dead satellites that have been up there for decades, uh, old tumbling rocket bodies that have been around for a long time, and thousands of pieces of space junk. Getting hit by something even this big is still really bad. Something, you know, as small as two centimeters across. Because remember that the, those objects can be moving relative to you up to 14, 15 kilometers per second. So that's in the range of 30, 35,000 miles per hour. So even getting hit by something as small as two centimeters across will totally ruin your day and perhaps the day of your business or the year of your business. If you have a primary object and a secondary object that are on risk of collision, we are running algorithms that would tell us where they might meet in space and at what time. And so with that, we create reports that we can then tell the customers, hey, here's what's happening. And they can actually take action uh, to avoid, of course, a space um, collision or something like that happening. We're layering on top of that decades of experience in space industry to be able to not only bring the community the best content through these radar measurements, but the best context, perspective of what does this data really mean for the immediate space safety, but also long-term space sustainability. We have teams located around the world. We have a team in the US, we have a team in Australia, and a team in Japan. And every single day, they are handing off operations between time zones so that we maintain a continuous watch over space. Essentially, you can think of it as like a living map of space. The trajectories and coordinates of all the objects up there, the satellites, the debris, updating continuously every second throughout the day. Leo Lab serves 60% of all the active satellites in low Earth orbit. We're putting out over 400 million conjunction data messages every single month, and we've supported the launch of over half of all the active satellites in LEO, locating those satellites within hours after they reach orbit to help the operators move them safely into full operations. LEO is going through a once-in-a-generation transformation. It used to be all about exploration and militaries. This new space race is all commercial. Commercial innovation is driving the large numbers of satellites, it's driving the new uh, human space flight, and it's connecting space back down to the ground in a way that's never been seen before. We are rapidly expanding our radar network. We have four sites in operation today, we have three more sites under construction, and we're gonna keep building after that. So we have radars located in the US, in Alaska and Texas, a radar site in New Zealand, in Costa Rica, We've got a construction site underway in the Azores, uh, as well as West Australia and another undisclosed location. Over the next few years, we plan quite a large number of new radars that will give us worldwide coverage of areas above the Earth, which is missing today. Among the other things that we've done that are really notable are that we've improved the sensitivity of our radar so that we can track smaller and smaller objects. It's objects smaller than anybody else in the world is tracking. And we've built the systems that allow that data to be served up to customers so that they can be protected from these smaller objects which are out there 
but which nobody else is tracking. Having flown in space, I know that the greatest danger to astronauts in space in the long term is space debris. And we're the only company, the only organization that's actively working to reduce that risk in a meaningful manner. And that's because we're working to build the tracking network that will protect the astronauts from objects which are too small to be tracked by other networks. As we build out our global network and we, and we mature our uh, discovery of small, lethal, non-trackable debris, what we're really gonna be able to do is provide services that will enable better design, better manufacture, better deployment, better operations, and more reasonable retirement process. So that whole life cycle will really bring much more benefit to the industry than just keeping you safe for that one conjunction event. When you see the, the ultimate outcome, which is, you know, we're actually helping keep space safe. That is a reward that it's just hard to describe. It, it, it's just, it feels good to work here and it feels good to work with a team that connects well with each other because I feel like teamwork is what makes it a success. Um, and I think that's a very strength of Leo Labs.